makes a hostel less institutional by having dogs. It makes it more homely. It helps with the recovery of all the residents, not just the dog owners. We are providing a service to a large group of homeless people in the Pacific area um, and we want to provide that to all of them and not exclude anyone. Yeah, I was, I was, I was sleeping in the bin chute and the uh, Samango spot team came around and got me straight straight in Pagnum Street. If I didn't have it, I'd, I'd, I'd feel a bit, a bit lost. Like she stops me taking drugs, keeps me busy. Angel, I've had her all her life and she, oh, she's my baby. Oh, she means the world to me. I wouldn't have moved in if I weren't allowed to bring her. I would have rather been on the street still. I got made redundant and I didn't have nowhere to live. There was nowhere else to go, like literally, so I had no other option but to go to the street. It's hard to get into housing, hostels, get my own flat. If there was a chance I had to put him down just to get rehoused, I weren't having it. I'm not going to do it. I'd rather be homeless than etc. So that's, it means a lot to me. Keeps just company and yeah, just keeps me relaxed. No, yeah, I wouldn't be without her, so. It's your best friend, you know, especially if you're homeless and you've got a dog, you know, it's just company. I was really grateful that, because not many hostels let animals, do they? Chucky means the world to me. I can't really imagine living life really at the moment without him. I'll tell you what, it's like having a kid, yeah, with four legs and a tail. Staying in the hostel helped me a lot, because I was there for a couple of years, but now I've got my own flat. Two years ago, I wouldn't have had this, unless it was from the support of the hostel.